Welcome back to our video module on dynamics. Today I'd like to revisit one of the problems we looked at earlier. We're looking at the Sun and we're looking at the Earth rotating about it. And the example we had, we were applying some force and we we're going to um, make the Earth rotate faster about the Sun. By applying some sort of moment we saw a change in angular momentum. However today I'd like to know what is the Earth's position as a function of time. Today we're going to look at the equations that govern any type of force directed towards the center of something. So our first step with any of these problems is to start off with our free body diagram. And in this case it's going to be pretty simple. We're going to have some sort of sphere here which is the Earth and some sort of force of gravity pulling the Earth towards the Sun. Now we know the quantity of the force of gravity is simply going to be the gravitational constant times the mass of the Sun times the mass of the Earth divided by the distance between them or R squared. We know that this force is directed towards the Sun. And if we say that the center of our coordinate system is at the Sun, we say that it's directed to the center. So we want to be able to use our equations of motion. Sum of force equals ma if we're going to find the position as a function of time. This is just a magnitude. It doesn't tell us the direction. So let's see if we can put that into something that is a vector. We have the amount of g m s m e divided by r squared and we're going to multiply that by the unit vector to the center of the coordinate system. That's going to be negative r where r is the vectored position from the sun to the earth and we'll divide it by the magnitude of r. Our equation of motion is g m s m e divided by the magnitude of the radius squared times the magnitude of the radius that's going to be radius cubed times the position we'll put a negative in there equals mass times acceleration we now have a vector equation we also know that position is simply x i plus y j and the acceleration is x double dot i plus y, sorry, plus y double dot j. So now we can plug this fact into our original equation. x i plus y j equals m x double dot i plus y j double dot and the r cubed is going to be the magnitude of r and the magnitude of r is the square root of x squared plus y squared so r cubed will be the square root of x squared plus y squared cubed this equation in teal is our equation of motion. We can proceed with all the other normal steps we would use to find position as a function of time. In summary, for problems with a force directed at a center, we first write the force as a vector. We take the amount and multiply it, in this case the distance from the center, divided by the magnitude of the distance from the center. The second step is to substitute position, acceleration, and the magnitude of the position back into our original equation and that will give us everything in terms of x and y or z and i, j, and maybe k. I hope this gives you a couple new tools to address problems where force is going towards the center. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you in our next module.